Hey everybody, what's up? It's your girl Birdie and I am back once again with another video. Today we are going on an adventure. That's right, it's adventure time. <laughs> Listen, I am so excited because today I am doing something I have been wanting to do for years and it may or may not involve dinosaurs. Keep watching. <laughs> well, hello there. This is Birdie from the future. And I'm here to tell you that because I am such a professional, I somehow managed not to record any of the part where I explain to you who these people are in this video with me. So uh, let me take just a moment to do that for you. Here you'll see Cheryl, AKA the roving naturalist and AJ, he is Cheryl's friend and also the creator of LibLab. I will link both of their YouTubes as well as their Instagram pages down below. And I genuinely hope you go check them out because they are both fantastic people doing really incredible things in the education space here on YouTube. So without further ado, let's get back to the video off and walk for a while and then turn it back on oh, and take, thing, take pictures of things like those pretty flowers. Look at the precious babies. <laughs> Tell us more. They're grape hyacinths. So I'm gonna fall down. These, <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> these probably aren't like just wildly growing here. I bet they were like, they were part of somebody's garden and like a squirrel probably brought the bulbs down here. But yeah, they- squirrel. Right? But they grow from bulbs like dandelions and tulips and other flowers like that. But yeah, they are very pretty. I do love hyacinths a lot. They're real cute. Yeah. Good to eat them. That is really pretty. This is the really cool thing about Austin is there are so many little hidden beautiful spots that you just have to go out and find. Yeah, that's one of my favorite things about urban exploring. Yeah, just finding those little green spots. While we're here, why don't you tell me uh, tell me about yourself? Tell me what you do. Why are, why are you here with me today? Why am I here? Well, I'm here because I think you and what you do are, is our cool. What are you doing? Um, <laughs> he just wants to be in the me. shot. Okay, yeah. Uh, what I do officially is I'm a grad student studying biological sciences. So I work on restoration ecology, which is basically how we humans can take areas of land that we have destroyed or degraded or hurt in some way and build them back up to be that natural area that they once were. So you're my um, hero. Uh, I try. <laughs> <laughs> Unofficially, I also make YouTube videos at The Roving Naturalist and I do lots of science communication and stuff and AJ and I are here in Austin for the South by Southwest Education Conference to talk about using YouTube videos in classrooms. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. It's be great. I love it. it I'm excited for you. Oh, thanks. And us, because we get to find dinosaur footprints. <laughs> that's good right. transition. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> I like these little puddles. Yeah. I feel like um, Coyote Peterson on. What the fuck is the name of that show? Uh, I don't remember. Brave Wilderness. <laughs> nope. Nope. What'd you find? Um, there's a. It looks like a mayfly or like damselfly larva in this puddle. But it, they're so flat against the rock that they're really difficult to pick up with your bare hands. Uh, yeah, I figured there'd be some little tiny beasties living under the rocks. Actually, I was kind of hoping, because this is like an interesting area, I was hoping there might be like bryophytes on the rocks. No such luck. I don't Not know only, what that is. Uh, oh, there he is. <laughs> bryophytes are colonial animals. It's kind of the same idea as a coral, but they're not in the same like group of animals. But they'll grow on rocks and the rock will feel like real fuzzy and weird. Tail guy. Do you want me to film that? I mean, you can. I'm filming it. I film dead things. Do you want Blah. to point at it again? Look at this desiccated dead frog. It's so cool. Oh, you're going to pick it up? It's what if it has dead. rabies? Only mammals can get rabies. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that. I totally knew that. Okay. Here's the problem. When you don't know exactly where you're looking, and you don't know exactly what you're looking for, it's hard to find it. <laughs> I mean, we can still see the bridge, so I wonder how out of sight we need to well, be. Well, a half mile is a lot harder. Oh, this is so cool! I love this city. Well, the city next to the city. Okay, this is by far one of the coolest things I've done in Austin so far, or just outside of Austin. We're technically in Leander, Texas. We're still looking for dinosaur footprints. 
I don't know if we're gonna find him. The water's a little high and I'm not very good at judging distance. So <laughs> we may or may not get there eventually. But look how pretty this is. Hey Bertie, you wanna see something cool? I do wanna see something cool, hold on. Over here, there are fossils in this rock. No, there's not. Yes. Oh my God, I'm dying. Yeah, look, there's a fossil shell here and it looks like maybe another one there. And there's like a few other little ones. But this, this little ring looks like it could be a segment from a crinoid, which is like a weird prehistoric, like segmented kind of sort of like palm floaty thing that lived in the <laughs> ocean too. I just, it's kind of hard to describe them. Um, but yeah, so they had all these like ringed segments on the like stem. So I think that's probably what that is. That's so cool. Yeah, this is a, this is a nice rock right here. Damn rock, <laughs> but you've given us everything. <laughs> this rock sucks. Get better. I don't know if this is right. That seems crawlable, right? Yeah. Meh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we may have found our first dinosaur footprint. It could also just be a round spot in the rock. Yeah, it definitely also kind of just looks like a round uh, spot I, in the rock. You know what? I jumped over that and I, why did I not jump over it on the way back? I don't know. It's a mystery. So is that, that spot. Was, we'll keep looking. I can still see the bridge. We probably have to go around that bend, do you oh, think? Maybe. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. We We've won't be become able to hear any of this footage. <laughs> it's all going to be copyright. No. Do you need it as a walking stick? Is that It's iron. Oh. It's iron bar. Litterer. It was already here. <laughs> I feel bad for your microphone right now. Like every time every I talk, time it's just saturating. Mine? Yeah, yeah. See, Oh, you... I'm right next to it and I'm screaming. Like don't worry about it. <laughs> my followers are used to hearing me scream. So <laughs> it my is followers. not a problem. <laughs> they still love me. <laughs> I need the vanity URL so bad. I'm so tired of being like, just please go search the birdie source because I'm not going to tell you what the link is. That doesn't work for anybody. No. Whoa. I'm at 69 though. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we're <your> children. <laughs> <laughs> the magical 69. And you guys helped me get there. Thank you. Uh oh. I think we need to go back up. <laughs> There's more than I expected. <laughs> oh god, I don't know if I can do this without both hands. Nope. <laughs> wait, 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 here. I'm going this way. <laughs> I found a spot. <laughs> Instead of a looking for dinosaur tracks video, this is gonna turn into like how many times can Birdie almost die on these rocks video. <laughs> also good. We can totally still see the bridge, so I think we have a ways to go. And there's a, a bend in the river. So we're gonna go around that and hopefully we'll find Yeehaw. something there. Yeehaw! Oh my God, Texas is rubbing off on her. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, because I was not filming, let's do it again. Let's be casual. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, I'm looking in the water. Oh my gosh, pretty look. What is it? Is it there's a dinosaur? A <laughs> oh my God, it's a dinosaur footprint. <laughs> Can you see it, guys? It's an actual it. footprint. Right, well, it's in the water, so I can't like go up and like put my hand in it. That's or anything. that's it. There's a but toe and a really toe cool. and a toe. Yay, dinosaurs! Look, I think, ah! I think that one was more before, so you can like see it, where it was walking. Oh my gosh, that is! Look how deep that is. I want to be in it. Oh, All right, guys, don't look at my disgusting toes right now. I'm getting in the water. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be cold, isn't it? Hold Probably. On. Ah, just Probably. do it. Just do it. Ah! <laughs> oh my God, it's so cold. <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna put my foot yes, in it so you can see how big it is. Out. Oh my god. Does he act? No. Ah! no. So it goes whoop, whoop, and then. Oh no, my sunglasses. <laughs> and then there's the third one. Oh well, yeah, yeah, oh. there's one there, and then here, and then this one. Oh my goodness. Ah, yeah. Here's the other one. You can see two toes. Well, that is quite three toes. Chilly. It is a little bit. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Where's the other one? Right here. Oh, with the green stuff. Yeah, so it's like a toe and then a toe and then a toe. Oh, that's amazing. That's pretty freaking big. That's pretty freaking big. Yeah, because it goes all the way to out here. Huh? Yeah, that's like like two feet. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Wow. Ah! <laughs> that's a lot of dinosaur. And we said these these three-toed pointy ones are, are carnivores, right? Yeah, I think they're from some sort of predator. Um, so they would be, you know, the walking upright. Doing yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah. I think that's like the stride. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is the left foot. Yeah, I'm gonna try and do this. And then, oh my gosh! Don't die. <laughs> that's really big. Yeah, the algae really. 
Is this another one? Or is that just a whole? Yeah, no, that's another one. This is another one. Oh man, that's so cool. So my feet are in the little toes. Here, this one's not super well defined. But there's, yeah, there's one here and one here. Oh my yeah. goodness. So there's like the whole set along, but some of them are much less well defined. That's crazy. That's very cool. Oh, here's, a, yeah, and here's yeah, another yeah. one. It just keeps going. Yeah. Almost as if it were walking. <laughs> oh my God, they get, they get better. Hold Ooh, on. That's a really good yeah. one. Yeah, this one's awesome too. So how does this happen? It's just a footprint. How does it get stuck here forever? <laughs> well, so they stepped in obviously mud because it like squished up between their toes, right? Yeah. The mud can solidify over time. And then if different texture of particles were deposited on top of it, it would sort of get protected or covered up oh, and stay. Okay. Whatever was on top of this rock would have been like a much softer rock. Okay. And then, so the water or the wind or some combination of those would have moved that rock away over the centuries. And then now we're left with this harder, I'm not sure what this is. I mean, it's probably like a sandstone or a mudstone kind of thing because it walked in mud. But yeah, so this is a little different than other fossils because normally a fossil is minerals replacing something organic, right? Copper lights are fossilized poop. And I'm sorry, what now? Co <laughs> copper lights are fossilized like dinosaur poop. Oh, okay. So, yeah. That's fun. <laughs> so you can have fossilized poop, fossilized eggs, fossilized bones, stuff like that. But yeah, the footprints are a little different because this isn't minerals replacing something that was there. It's not like the dinosaur's foot stayed. Um, this is just from them squishing mud and then the mud hardening and having a different rock deposited on top. That's so cool. Yeah. See, it pays to bring a naturalist. Oh man. I would have just been like, wow, that's neat. I, mean, <laughs> I love how many of them got preserved though. I was expecting like two. No, that's a really long string. Guys, we also found poop. I mean, it could be dog, but it's pretty black to be like a kibble eater. A <laughs> that. Yeah, but yeah, you can tell from the tapering at the end that it's some sort of tainted probably. And it's the black says it's high protein. Oh wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You tell all right guys, if I get swept away by this river, it's been a beautiful ride. I love you all very much. Please remember me when I'm gone. I probably don't have a good like science-based answer, so go ahead and here. You have two forces going in action, right? You got flow this way with yes. the river, which yes. we can see. And then you have flow this way, which we don't really see, but there's gonna be a lot of variation there. And that's gonna basically be like waves lapping up on a shore. And so each of these is gonna initially start by that kind of lapping effect. But once it gets going, you then have a natural channel for rainwater, and it's gonna be swimming out. Okay. Well, we got an expert on our hands. <laughs> I like fluids. <laughs> that's probably not a good tagline. <laughs> All right, well, we found our dinosaur footprints. Guys, this has been one of the coolest things I've ever done in my life. We are going to head back, but just the idea that we are literally sitting in a place where dinosaurs walked millions of years ago is blowing my mind right now. I was saying earlier that I honestly, I think about dinosaurs and I think about them being on the other side of the world or something, not 40 minutes from my house. You guys know me, you know how much I love dinosaurs. This has been quite an adventure and I've enjoyed every second of it. Thank you to Cheryl and to AJ for going on this adventure with me. And uh, guys, we'll see you next time. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Bye.